Hey there dreamers, welcome in. My name is Galen and today I've got a product review for you. I'm going to be showing you a brand new peripheral that's made specifically for creators, particularly digital creators, and that's called Toolbox. Now, I do want to put a disclaimer right away. Toolbox did contact me and offer to send me one of these to review for this video. I have spent uh, about two weeks now working with it every single day and I wanted to share with you my experiences and what it's all about. So what is Toolbox? Uh, while I open this up here, Toolbox, it's a peripheral made for creators. It has 14 different buttons, dials, and knobs that are on it that you can use to customize different actions within your software that you use. It comes with some pre-built in uh, layouts for things like Photoshop and Premiere Pro and uh, but it also gives you the functionality where you can create your own custom layouts and save them. As I open it, I notice it's it's extremely well packaged. The box is really nice. Um, comes with a really uh, detailed quick start guide. It comes with these awesome little uh, carrying cases. Um, I, I personally wouldn't likely use the cases because I don't move my studio very much. But if you are an artist or a creator who works on the go with a laptop, uh, it might be good to have something like this because you can put it in this bag and then put it in whatever, uh, you know, backpack or carrying bag that you might have for your equipment. It comes with a bag for the cable and for the tour box itself. The first thing I notice as I pick it up is it's it's a lot heavier than I imagined it would be and uh, I think that's a good thing because when I first saw the images of it I wasn't really sure what the uh, the overall quality would be uh, but it's it's very nice it's very solid it feels sturdy it's got a sort of rubbery texture to the outside um, and it's got little feet on the bottom to keep it from sliding around on your desk. See here, like it doesn't, it takes some actual force to move it around. And as far as size here, you can see it's, it's roughly about the same size as something like an Elgato Stream Deck. So it fits pretty easily on your desktop. It'll connect to your computer using a USB to USB-C cable that is included. So the cable quality is actually pretty nice. You can see... Uh, it's nice and sturdy, it's not flimsy, it's got good chunky um, you know, coating on the ends of it, and the cable itself is actually coated with a fabric weave to protect it. Once you've got everything unpacked, one of the first things you're going to want to do is go to the website. You're going to go to tourboxtech.com, and you're going to go to the Downloads page, and click Software, and here you'll choose uh, whichever operating system that you use. You will download it and install it. Now you've got your software installed, you've got the hardware unpacked. What's the first thing you need to do? Uh, well, once you open the Torbox console software, you'll see this here on the screen. You'll see it's got presets built in for Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Edit, and Premiere Color. I've taken the base Photoshop uh, preset that they have and I've gone through and customized it for myself. Now, when you, uh, you'll notice that as you scroll through here, you'll see the buttons here on the left side. And then here it shows you what the current uh, hotkey or shortcut is assigned to that button. And as you hover over them, it also highlights the button over on the little image down here, um, making it very easy to tell like which button it is that you're customizing. And if you don't feel like scrolling through to find you know which button you want to customize, you can actually just push the button on the pad and it'll take you directly to that button where you can go and customize it. Another awesome feature that I really like is uh, in addition to the scroll wheel, the knob, and the dial, each of these three actually have a second function. You can press them like a button. You can press the scroll wheel, you can press the dial, and you can press the knob. And so that gives you a lot of different things that you can use to customize to make uh, whatever software you're using function a lot more efficiently for yourself. Even more than that, like if that isn't enough, there are button combinations. Like if we scroll down here, you can see there's button combinations if we use this top button and the D-pad that's on here, the side button and the D-pad, and uh, combinations of both of these mixed with the C1 and C2 buttons that are here. I personally have found that that's more than enough customization for my professional use uh, as an illustrator. And uh, the, the great thing, like I said, is if I do find more uh, needs as far as hotkeys and things, I have the room to add them. Um, and if for whatever reason I somehow ran out of room, I could simply switch the preset and make a new one. And it's very easy to switch back and forth. Like all you do is just click whichever one you want to be added. And you'll see a little pop-up like that that says current preset, Photoshop, current preset, whichever one. 
And same thing, uh, you can add new ones and you can import them. To make a new preset, you simply you know click create a new preset. It'll give you the, the type that you're trying to set up. It'll either be a completely custom one or you can base it on the, the presets that they have existing. You type a name for it and you create it. Uh, then you can edit that the same way you would any of these. Another cool thing is if you go to downloads and click on presets, you can download user made presets for the tour box uh, for all different types of software. You can see they've got things like Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, even Audition and ZBrush. It really just depends on what kind of stuff that you use. These are going to be made by people who regularly use the software and have made it uh, better fit their own workflow. And the cool thing is, is you can get these and then you can customize them to your own needs as well. You download some of the pre-made presets from other creators. You save them onto your computer. And you go here, click this, and you uh, just select the presets that you've downloaded and it should install them here very easily. Let's get more into the actual usefulness of this. I'm gonna give you a quick demo. I'm not gonna give a software demo. Like I work with Adobe Photoshop. I work mostly with Adobe products. However, um, that's not the focus of this, but I just want you to see like an example of how I have it set up. So you can see my cursor here. Currently it's set up to uh, the text tool. I have it set here on the D-pad. If I hit right on the D-pad, it changes to my brush. If I hit up, it changes to my eraser. I have it set on my brush. I've got it on white. The knob I have set to increase and decrease my brush size. So you can see as I'm turning this, it's adjusting my brush without having to uh, right click and make any adjustments or anything like that. It's very simple and it's very easy. I can make a nice stroke with it. I can increase it and make an even larger stroke. Uh, or if I want to go super, super fine, I can take it nice and small and do it like that. Now, if I don't like the strokes that I've made, I've got these two buttons here set up as my undo and redo buttons. I just click them and undo. The scroll wheel, I like having set to zoom. Like I, Now, keep in mind, wherever your cursor is on the screen, that's where it's going to zoom to. So, like, if we are here and I put my cursor on her elbow, like it's gonna go there. If I put it up on her face, it's gonna go there. I've set up the scroll wheel also, if I press it, it fits whatever file I'm using to the page. The dial, I have set to rotate the canvas. So we, we don't even have to change tools. We don't have to push the R key to get the rotate tool or uh, any of that. We don't have to change tools at all. We don't even necessarily have to take our hand off of our tablet or our screen that we're using. Uh, it's very simple to switch between all of these different tasks. All those extra seconds that I spend going from drawing to moving my hand down to the keyboard to hit like control something or shift something, control shift something, um, I save time by not having to, you know, go back and forth a hundred times, you know, over the course of a couple of hours. Keep my left hand on the tour box and I keep my right hand drawing. Another thing I have set up for this side button, because something that I do a lot when I draw is I flip my canvas a lot or I flip the particular layer. And so I have this button set up to flip whatever layer I'm on horizontally. So like if I'm sketching a face, I can I can quickly flip it back and forth and check on my proportions and things like that. It's it's super nice. One thing that I will say, at when you're getting started, you're probably going to want to keep this open somewhere where you can reference it. Because uh, it, it is a lot of buttons. It's kind of like learning a new video game at first. Um, you got to figure out what all the controls do. The small button here, that is something that I use, like, let's say if I'm scrolled in and I'm working, I, I push down on the small button, it hits the space key. And so I can, I can move the canvas around in Photoshop. You know, this is... This is Alt. That way, when I'm painting, I can I can quickly color select because Alt is the hotkey for color selection when you're using a brush tool or a gradient tool or anything that uses color. Um, and then this one is my Shift key. And uh, so, like, there's there's all these different combinations. And another thing that I do is uh, I have my my knob set to where it will save. Like, if I've already saved the file and I'm just working on it. Uh, but I want a quick save in between as I'm doing things. I just quick tap that button, saved, and that's it. And then if I want to save it as a copy, because Adobe, for some reason, added this whole separate uh, save as a copy function to Photoshop recently in uh, 2021, I have a separate combo hotkey for that. I hold shift and I hit up on the D-pad. 
and that will give me the save as a copy window where I can have all of these different things here. Because uh, the, the default uh, save as now only includes Photoshop and a couple of other file formats. But this makes it much easier. Now the overall usefulness of this for me is it's pretty great because I spend, you know, sometimes eight to 10 hours a day working on art or working on uh, various, you know, you know, commission work or video work or something like that. And, and being able to keep my hands in the same place and not have to constantly like look down at my keyboard, make sure I'm hitting the proper keys for the shortcuts and um, like not having to do like, it's one thing to do it just a couple of times, but when you work, uh, many hours and you're doing this literally hundreds of times a day to hit all these different hotkeys and shortcuts, this thing is amazing because it saves a lot of time. That time adds up. If you imagine like all those extra seconds, even in a day will save you, you know, you know, I, I haven't done the math on this, but I would assume it same, saves at least 10 to 20 minutes a day um, of just going back and forth and messing with hotkeys and stuff. And, and you know, you add that up over weeks and years, and, and that's that much more work that you can be getting done. So the next thing that we need to talk about is the price. The current price of this, what they call the Tourbox Neo, is 169 US dollars. Now, that may not work for a hobby artist or a hobby creator, because that is a, a fairly significant expense when uh, essentially this is a luxury item. It's not something that you that you absolutely have to have in order to create, but for a professional or for someone who is putting in lots and lots of hours, this is a game changer for you because, like I said, it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run. And ultimately, as an artist and a creator, time is everything. As a final overview, I think it's important, like I said, that you know, to remember this is a luxury item. This is not something that the everyday creator actually may or may not need. It's just it's something that makes your job easier. And it's something that saves you a fairly significant amount of time, in my opinion, um, where you've got all of the different functions that you use in one place versus having to chase them around a keyboard and take your hands off of what you're doing. Like, as a final word, would I recommend this? Absolutely. Especially if you're a digital artist like I am, this is something that can save you a lot of time. Especially if you're a professional who's trying to earn money and, or if you're earning a, a living off of what you do. This will make it where you can get more work done faster. Now, if this is something that's within your budget, I highly recommend picking up one for yourself if you're a digital creator, because as I said, it's going to save you a lot of time. Um, it certainly made my working process a lot smoother. I want to thank the people at Tourbox for providing this for me to do the review. And uh, also, if you guys are interested in getting one for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description of this video for you. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep creating, take care.